Hello and welcome back to Stardew Valley and the continuing adventures of our hero, da 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 da, Jimmy Neptune, the world's greatest sailor. Um, it sounds like it's raining again, which is fantastic. And our radishes are done, or parsnips, or whatever the hell they are. And we've got a letter, and there's a rock. So this is fantastic. Already my morning is made. Um, I've got some acorns here, actually. I should probably uh, sell these and. Fiber. Oh, I'll keep the fiber for now. I might need it for something like to build a scarecrow, but um, it's not a priority at the moment. What does the post say? To all our value, oh, to all our value, Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind every one of you that our drilling operation is entirely legal pursuant to Initiative LC61091 Jojo Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologise for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Jojo Customer Satisfaction represent Representative. Ah. Representative is a very hard word to say. Anyway, look. Look at them. Look at, look at them and weep. We have... How many? Like, 21 parsnips? I think. If, my, if I'm numbering right. 21. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we can go into town to sell these or we can dump them in the box. I'm going to bring them into town because, um... I need to buy more seeds so we can plant more things, but yeah, this is brilliant. And we're up bright and early because, you know, it's raining, we don't have to water anything. It's just perfect. Um, yeah, so I've asked people to suggest who I should be friends with, what I should name my animals and stuff. I don't have any animals yet, I'm still working on it. But uh, someone wants me to be friends with Demetrius, which I think is a pretty good idea. I think I'll, I'll go see him. Someone wants a Joja Cola, Elliot. Makes Elliot happy. Well, if it makes Elliot happy, well, let's go for it then. Who's Elliot? Um, he's probably one of the guys around town. Or girls, like in Scrubs, but that I think she's kind of the exception to the rule. Um, is Jojo Mart open? No. What kind of service do they run here? Only open from 9 till 11. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, 9 11. Very convenient, Jojo Mart. Very convenient. I'm putting the pieces together here. All right, anyway. Um, there's not much I can do until nine o'clock. Maybe I, sh I should head to the beach and collect some seashells because uh, people pay a surprising amount of money for seashells in this game. I don't know why, but um, they just do. They bloody love the things. Maybe it's a cultural thing. Um, like Texan culture. If, if that's where Stardew Valley is. I think it is. I'm assuming it is. I've never been to Texas, but I assume this is what it looks like. Like, um, I don't know, beaches and forests and men and men with moustaches who uh, send you letters in the post with missions asking you to... Uh, oh! I've got a hundred gold. Asking you to raise animals and... Um, reach level one in farming and ca craft a scarecrow. Ah, craft a scarecrow. There we go. I, I'm going to do that. Joja Mart, anyway. Because I was going to buy some Joja Cola. And maybe they'll buy my vegetables off me for a decent price. I don't know. Life's better with Joja. Well, let's, let's see about that. Okay, one Joja Cola, please. Thank you. And they don't buy parsnips. Well, what kind of monsters are you? I'm out of here. I'll take my business elsewhere over to uh, Mr. Not Open on Wednesdays over here. At least he'll buy my bloody produce. Um, Pierre. Bonsoir, Pierre. Will you buy my daffodil and my 21 parsnips? 735. Wow, I'm rich. Uh, what do I get with my money? I've got like a th 1,308. Um, okay. Okay. Do we reinvest in parsnips, get more money? Do we invest in a more expensive crop, get more money? Cauliflowers are great for money, actually. I think they're worth loads, but they take like 12 days to grow. Um, let's buy them. So can we buy them? We'll buy seven more. 14 cauliflowers. I mean, 
we're pretty cleared out, I think. Parsnips just to balance out our seeds, but this will set us up for a good while because uh, these are worth a fortune. Is it anyone's birthday yet? I think it's Lewis's on Sunday, but no, not until then. Which one is Elliot? Um, there's Demetrius. We've got to go visit him now, actually. It's just reminding me. Elliot. Oh, him! Oh, God. He's creepy. I'm not sure I want to be friends with Elliot, but, well, here we go. Let's go for it. He wants a Joja Cola. Um, I think he lives down here near the beach, or on the beach in this hut, which is a terrible place, you know, once the tide comes in. He's going to get some wet feet in here. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Well, what am I meant to do, Elliot? You're not giving me much choice here. I can't go in and visit him. I can't deliver his cola. Maybe he's around town somewhere. I don't know. Um, if I was some sort of creepy dude, where would I be? The museum. Let's check the museum. And then get back to the farm and plant some things because um, I'm getting wet out here. No one's outside today because of the rain. So generally, you know, they're easy enough to track down. Oh, and Demetrius as well, of course. Um, we need a present for him. Demetrius likes, I don't know. No, no one's here. What does Demetrius like present-wise? What's this? Can I take this? No, okay, it's just a decorative bear. Okay, um, well anyway, yeah, let's go. We'll find a present for Demetrius and go visit him, and then we'll head home. This will be good. Um, yeah, it'll be cool. We he can he can be my best buddy now around town. We can we can have a sort of like you know, buddy cop thing going. It'll be like lethal weapon because I'm like a foreign guy with long brown hair and he, he's like a an elderly black cop two days away from retirement well i don't know he, he i think he's like a young black scientist but it's a, you know it, it, it'll it'll do we're different enough that it will uh it will all fit together we're like a scientist and a sailor the um nature's natural enemies but uh, I, I didn't find any presents along the way Hang on. oh there we go do you think he likes onions? I think that's an onion. What was that? Hey, we've got a radish and an onion, so if he doesn't like one, he'll like the other. All right. Hey, buddy, we're here. Demetrius. It's nice to meet you. Um, would you like a radish? That was very thought, very thoughtful of you. Oh, thank you, Demetrius. Thank you. Um, what else can we give him? Will we give him the other one? I think you can only give like two presents a week and maybe only one a day. We haven't gotten any hearts with him. I guess he's kind of faking it a bit. We've got a heart with Emily because of her radish. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Don't worry, buddy. We'll be back tomorrow to give you this. Do you want it now? No. Okay, well, maybe I'll just sell it instead. I don't know. Uh, you... Let's see how much it costs. A coop, which we need for chickens, is 4,000 gold, 300 wood, and 100 stone. And we're nowhere near that. So let's let's go back to the farm and plant our vegetables and get to work. Our friendship with Demetrius can, uh, can trundle on tomorrow. I'm surprised no one's out and about, but I suppose the rain probably bothers them more. I mean, uh, Jimmy Neptune is at home in the moisture because he lived out at sea for so long so he's just used to it this is just a normal day for him I wonder is Elliot around yet I'll, you know what I'll do I'll come back after six and he'll probably be in the he'll probably be in the pub so we can like give him his cola then he's a notorious alcoholic he probably just wants it to mix with his I don't know wine or whatever he drinks um all these perfect okay and we'll spend the rest of the day I think gathering wood and stone because we're going to need to build a barn eventually so we might as well just uh, have all the components on standby 
and it'll clear out a lot of room for us to uh, actually build it somewhere. Or not, not a barn, a coop, a barn. What am I thinking? We're we're not billionaires. Um, okay. Which way am I going to expand, though? Is it going to be over here or down there? Or I think my coop will probably be. What was that noise? Um, it sounded like a whale farting or something in the background. Um, maybe, maybe the coop should be down here somewhere. But this is near the water source, so no, I should stick to planting vegetables down this way. So there's less water over here. There's a house. That's interesting. What the hell is this? It's in ruins, whatever it is. Okay. Over here, maybe? Should we, uh... We'll cut down a few of these trees. It'll be around here. This'll be our coop space. Where we'll, you know, feel all cooped up. What am I collecting? I think I'm collecting a ton of junk as I'm chopping here. Like, yeah. Oh, my inventory is full. I have to buy that bag as well that gives me more inventory space because this is a really unmanageably small amount. Like, once I've got my tools there, that's pretty much all my space gone. So, I know. I'll have to buy the big one eventually. After I've got the coop. The coop is our priority at the moment. Then the bag. Because once we have the coop, we can get some animals and then we'll be really in the money. How much wood do I need? It's like 300 something. I've got 76. I've got a long way to go. There's a lot of trees though. A lot of space to uh, free up here. I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah. Uh, let's let's get these rocks away as well. There we go. There we go and another. And yeah, let's uh, cut the grass with a scythe, which is very Grim Reaper like of uh, Jimmy, I have to say. And oh, it's the evening. Let's head into town and see if um, see if what's his face is around, Elliot. Maybe he's hanging out in the pub now, getting his fix so that, uh, I don't know, he doesn't get a case of the shakes again. Because living in a house on a beach, that's um, a real problem for him, you know. If he jiggles too much, the sand underneath it becomes unsettled and it might just collapse. Stardrop Saloon. Let's stroll in, all cowboy-like. <clears throat> Howdy, partners. It's me, Jimmy. I'm here to give presents to uh, Elliot. Oh, Sebastian. I had something for Sebastian, didn't I? Some sea bass or something? I don't know. It Was was it his birthday? I don't know. I was looking for him for some reason and I can't remember now. Are you Elliot? This looks like him. No, Harvey. Who the hell are you? It's Harvey Kinkle, of course, from uh, last time. Oh, look, they have one of these doors. Partners. But there's no one back here. So it's a bit of a waste. All right, I'm out of here. Um, yeah, there's no one here I want to talk to. You all disgust me. Okay, now let's head down here, back to the beach. Maybe, uh, maybe Elliot's home now. So where else would he be? On a beach at night. That's where you find weirdos. Um, it's locked. Hey, dude, let me in. Ah, oh, that's very frustrating. I spent like 75 gold coins on this can of cola, which seems ridiculously expensive, actually. The price of gold must have like really plummeted in this world. Or else the coins are just really, really tiny. That, that could kind of be the case as well. They're only a couple of pixels, I think. Do we even get to see what they look like? I don't think we do. Wow. My, my mind is expanding to whole new possibilities of the economics of um, Stardew Valley. Anyway, let's uh, dump. Let's sell the leak and sell the fibre. We'll hang on to these things. We'll just 
throw them into the the old store and chest. We'll keep the cola because we can maybe can we give it to him tomorrow? We can give it to him tomorrow. Okay, we can give it to Elliot tomorrow. And maybe the ungrateful bastard will say thank you. Time to sleep. Oh, there we go. Level one farming, and I can craft a scarecrow. I'm gonna craft a scarecrow. Gonna craft him fine. Gonna use oil-based paint because his wood is pine. Uh, sixth of spring. Hello, world! Oh, it's, it's not raining anymore, so... Unfortunately, it means I have to do some work this morning. But let's make that scarecrow. Um, what should we need? 25 or 50 wood and a coal. Why do we need coal? Has he got like a coal nose or something? That's like a snowman, not a scarecrow. Well, I'm not building him then. Sorry, that's just how it is. Um, let's just water this uh, garden and then... Then we'll worry about what to do next. Oh, accidentally double watered one of them. It doesn't do any damage, it's just a little annoying. This is really nice having it all laid out in this kind of nice, neat square that we can just walk around. Because I don't think you damage crops by stepping on them. I could be wrong, you could all be like screaming your heads off at the video right now telling me, Stop it! Stop it! You're killing them all! Stop! They're already dead! But um... I'm not listening. Um, personally, I think this builds up their planty resilience and reminds them of their place in the world so that they never rise up and overthrow the farm, like in that Animal Farm book. I suppose it would be Plant Farm here. Um, plantimal Farm. No, just Plant Farm. Plantimal isn't a word. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get more wood. Because it's still quite early. We don't want to go into town too early because everyone will be in bed and we won't be able to find them. Actually, maybe we can catch Elliot as he leaves his house today. Give him his cola. Let's go get him, the bastard. Carrying a log proudly above our head like a gentleman farmer. Yeah. This is the life. This is what they're... Oh, a cutscene. Oh, hi there. Oh, poor Lewis. What's up with him? He's crying. What an eyesore. Never seen a Texan man cry, Lewis. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. I can give him a present. It used to be the pride and joy of this town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Oh, I'm messing up my T's here with my Texan, which is ironic because it starts with a T. Well, listen to me. I like the sound. I sound like an old fool. I nearly said I like the sound of old fools. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Joja membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Oh. Oh, Lewis, you don't have to do that. Ha! Ah, here, let's go inside. Oh. I don't know, do we want to restore this building? I... Or, or don't we? It, it's a bit of a crap hole, to be completely honest. Question mark? Hmm, what's this? Some kind of pineapple house. I guess Vincent and Jess must have been playing in here. Or SpongeBob SquarePants or something. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh god, it's an apple. With legs. What? Or arms. I, th I think they're legs, because it doesn't. It probably uses them to move around. You can see there are creatures with arm legs and no arms, but a creature with arms and no legs is just silly. What's the matter? Are you ill? I think if a creature just had arms, they'd be considered legs, because it would have to use them for propulsion. You saw something. 
Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. There he is again! Look, Lewis, he's a bloody apple with arms. How do you think that's a rat? You're worrying me, Jimmy Neptune. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. You mean the apple, Jimmy. It's, I mean, Lewis. It's a talking apple. Strange.